Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rigid here of Mach 4 Gaming and today I'm bringing you guys some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is uh, going to be team deathmatch using the R870 MSC or MCS shotgun here. And uh, I'd like to use this opportunity to talk about the shotguns in Black Ops 2, um, my overall feelings about them, the way they perform, how it's best to use them. And I'd also like to talk about the uh, the one kill streak that I'm using which is the AGR, which is a uh, something unusual for me but um, first of all the shotguns um, I enjoy using shotguns in Black Ops 2 because they offer a more challenging uh, playstyle that you need to use in order to be successful uh, if we were to compare shotguns to submachine guns I think anyone can pick up a submachine gun in this game and do I'd say decently well because everyone knows that the maps are built around submachine gun play so a lot of close uh, close quarter battles and stuff so uh, that's why submachine guns are really easy to use in this game but a shotgun in order to be successful with one you have to be really um, up close and personal I'd like to say with the enemy uh, you a lot of them don't have very good range uh, there's only one shotgun that's decent at range and that's the KSG which uh, I've actually gotten gold and if you guys want to see some gold gameplay with that uh, be sure to leave a comment saying so and uh, I'll try to get one but to compare the two pump action shotguns which would be this Remington here and the KSG uh, I find the R870 if you're up in the other team's spawn and you're really close range it's better to use because it has a, the uh, the buckshot or whatever that you shoot out whereas the KSG fires a slug so if you're accurate close range then maybe the KSG is still good for you if not it's better to stick to uh, to long range encounters with that gun so as you'll see me doing in this gameplay I really try to get uh, close to the enemies up in their spawn and stuff and that's another reason why I'm using ghost and you'll see me use ghost in a lot of my gameplays um, it just helps you stay off the radar as long as you're moving around and when you're trying to use a shotgun and uh, run around in the other team's spawn it's uh, it's really good to do and uh, now that we're actually in the AGR at this point in the gameplay I'd like to talk about it a little and why I like it so much um, it's very good to use because it's not a very high kill streak. I think it's about a uh, thousand points to uh, to get that you need, like a point streak to get. So it's not very high, like orbital VSAT, uh, uh, VTOL warship, and things like that. Those require a lot higher point streaks. And when you're playing team deathmatch, so there's no objective to play to get you a lot of points. Uh, it's hard to actually acquire those kill streaks or point streaks. Sorry, I always say it wrong. But um, the AGR, it's good because you can just throw it down, similar to a care package, but you don't have to pick it up. It just uh, plops out of the box and goes and does its thing. So it's uh, it's really easy to use. All you have to do is throw it somewhere in the middle of the map near the enemies and it'll go ahead and do its thing. But if you choose to run around and, uh, and play with it like that, it, I find it won't get you very many kills. What I would suggest doing is using it like a normal kill streak where you just lie down somewhere in a corner and then... Uh, pull up your little iPad thingy and then you can go ahead and control it yourself and it's cool because it shoots a uh, pretty much full auto uh, machine gun kind of like a death machine and then it also shoots these rockets out and the rockets are good because you can kind of spam them if you get kind of stuck in like a, a situation where the guys kind of running around you or behind something or behind cover and you can just kind of shoot two or three rockets and it'll usually kill them uh, you only get 25 points per kill but I find that if I can use my AGR to get me up to a UAV in my streak, you'll see I have UAV, Hellstorm, and uh, AGR. The AGR can usually get me to my next UAV, which will get me to my Hellstorm, which will get me to my AGR. Which is a, you can kind of get like a kill streak loop going, and then you'll just do extremely well as long as you get the first UAV going. You should be okay. Uh, another kill streak that's pretty good. It's around the same points as the uh, AGR is the Stealth Chopper. But I feel that it only takes two rockets and I say two magazines of a regular gun to uh, kill the stealth chopper. So in that sense, I find it's a lot worse to use. It only gets you maybe five to ten kills at most. Whereas the AGR, you'll see, it got me like a 21 kill streak in total. So it's pretty decent to use, and you get to control it yourself. Uh, it doesn't have flares like a stealth chopper, but I find it's a lot easier to to stay alive with it and uh, you'll see me using as my uh, tactical grenade in this game EMP grenades actually no sorry I'm using concussions but now now that I unlock them I'm always using uh, EMP grenades 
I find they're so useful. Like you'll find campers and stuff. As long as you just chuck an EMP grenade in, I'll, oftentimes I'll get a, I'll get points for destroying a, two shock charges and a bouncing Betty, and that on its own is like 150 points, which is like almost two kills. So if you guys throw on the EMP grenades, first of all, it's good for getting points. If you get an assist by like uh, stunning the guy with a, with an EMP grenade, you'll get 50 points for that. It's really good at destroying equipment, uh, sentry guns and things like that. One throw, pff, gone. I've actually taken out a dragon fire a couple times with uh, with an EMP grenade. You'll see, like, you just kind of throw it near it, it'll explode, and it'll actually have de enough range to uh, destroy a dragon fire, which is also a pretty high kill streak. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the gameplay here. I don't think I get the last kill, but anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And remember, if you want to see uh, KSG gameplay, make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, final score 36 and 7 with the R870 MCS shotgun. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Rigid of Mach 4 Gaming signing off. Thanks.